I tell people many times, I, you know, I started doing wet plate because I couldn't build a time machine. I think when you have a love of something that's no longer around and you get nostalgic for the past, maybe even nostalgic for a lifetime that you didn't even live, it's something that was before you. And to finally see yourself captured with the same technology that was used then and giving the same results that were there then. Um, for some people, it's a very emotional experience. I mean, I've seen people tear up and break down and cry where I've been able to bring them to a place that only existed in their mind, a place that they thought they knew and a vision of themselves they thought was authentic. And then suddenly here it is sitting in a tray of water after I've developed their tin type or glass plate. And um, I, I, I guess I take that, I don't take that lightly, that I can give them, I guess I'm sort of like this, this torchbearer that certainly has his eye on the future, but he's got one foot firmly planted in the past and is able to do something that most others can't do with a camera. I mean, the camera's just a tool. It's just an empty box. There's a lens, there's a piece of ground glass on the back, and I put a plate in the place of that ground glass, but that's it, that's all that's going on. But it's the chemistry, it's the lighting, it's the composition, it's all those elements, the wardrobe, that come together to tell this story that is 10 to 15 seconds long as I capture it here in the studio, or a second or two long as I capture it outdoors. The people that I deal with are passionate about what they're doing. Whether it's a Civil War reenactor or a guy building a 1910 board track racer, old Harley Davidson motorcycle. I've had guys come before my lens and seek me out to get images done, whether it's a, a vintage car or an old bike. And what's unique is that these guys have never before spent a penny on a photograph, particularly of themselves. They've spent tens of thousands of dollars on car parts, bike parts, restoring steam trains, whatever it is, old boats. And they see a value in what I do that they can't buy off of eBay. You sit before my camera and you pull that car up or that bike up and, and I work my magic. And now they've got something that means so much to them because it captures that passion unlike anything else. Something they look at and go, I'm going to give that to my grandson. You know, when, I, when, I, when I'm no longer here, I want him to have that. So you can see the value of this, these photographs just like 150 years ago when the Civil War soldiers sat before these cameras. The same cameras, by the way, that I use in my studio here. And I, I think that's what my gift to all this is, is that I'm creating memories. I'm creating, I'm capturing something that, maybe it's a time period they weren't even involved in, and yet here's something that, you know, rep represents them unlike anything else. That's why I use photography, is because that's the only medium I've seen that allows me to get as close to the 1800s, the turn of the century, the 1920s, 30s, more than anything else that's out there. You know, I've been able to, I think, bring people along with me through this little journey down the rabbit hole into the past. And I guess that's why I do this, because I can't build that time machine, but I'm still working on it.